ready to follow your mighty God. I'm ready to follow your mighty God. I'm ready to follow your mighty God. I am ready to follow your mighty God. I'm ready to follow your mighty God. I am ready to follow your mighty God. I am ready to follow your mighty God. Jesus the Savior. I'm ready to follow your mighty God. I am ready to follow your mighty God. Jesus the Savior. I am ready. To follow you, mighty God, I am ready to follow you, mighty God. Wherever you go, I am ready to follow you, mighty God. I am ready to follow you, mighty God. Wherever you go, I am ready to follow you, mighty God. I am ready. Follow you, in every God. condition, I'm ready to follow you, mighty God. I am ready to follow you, mighty in every God. situation, I'm ready to follow you, mighty God. I am ready to follow you. Mighty God, in battle. I'm ready to follow you, mighty God. I am ready to follow you, mighty King God. Of glory. I am ready to follow you, mighty God. I am ready to follow you, mighty God. Jesus the Savior. I'm ready to follow you, mighty God. I am ready. Jesus the Savior, I am ready to follow you, mighty God. I am ready to follow you, mighty God. Anibia reina rike, Jesus. Anibia reina rike, cause the anichuko. Anibia reina rike, Jesus. Anya bia woni rugi, Jesus di sevi omoge bia rano lansage, gaze anye chuku. Anya bia rina rike, Jesus. Anya bia rina rike, gaze anye chuku. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Today is the Thursday, the first week of Advent. That God may hear our prayers, let us call to mind that we are sinners, and we are sorry for our sins. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Stir up your power, O Lord, and come to our help with mighty strength that put our sins impede, the grace of your mercy may hasten. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. In that day, this song will be sung in the land of Judah. We have a strong city. It sets up salvation as walls and bulwarks. Open the gates that the righteous nation which keep faith may enter in. 
You keep him in perfect peace, whose mind he stays on you. Because he trusts in you. Trust in the Lord forever. For the Lord God is an everlasting rock. For he has brought low the inhabitants of the heights, the lofty city. He lays it low, lays it low to the ground, casts it to the dust. The fool tramples it, the feet of the poor, the steps of the needy. The word of the Lord. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Give praise to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. It is better to take refuge in the Lord and to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. Bless the Lord. Open to me the gates of justice. I will enter and thank the Lord. This is the Lord's own gate, where the just enter. I will thank you for you have answered, and you are my Savior. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Lord, grant salvation. O Lord, grant success. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God and has given us light. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Alleluia. Your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory be to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Everyone then who hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who built his house upon the rock and the rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house but it did not fall because it had been founded on the rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house upon the sand and the rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat against that house and it fell. And great was the fall of it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. 
Glory be to Jesus. Glory be to Jesus. Do you know what today is? What is today? First of all, so from the altar, we are wishing you people a wonderful new month. We thank God who made it so. From the month of January till this month of December, if anything should happen now, we are blessed that we lived 2022. And then asking God for the remaining. First day in the month of December, Thursday, the pilgrimage week of December, the last of it all, of our spiritual journey here in the International Sanctuary. Many pilgrimage week activities have come and gone. The last we are celebrating. Let us clap hands to Jesus the Savior. One, two, three, finish. Again, one, two, three, finish. And let us clap hands to our dear mother, Mary, mother of Jesus the Savior. One, two, three, finish. Amen. From the readings of today, the gospel, from the gospel, we move to the first reading. The first part of the gospel deals with hearing the word of God and doing what? Doing it. Aburon dini ne na pon nam namu ge megeni. Kamandi ne megeni. Ndi meru chen nam. So it is not only by hearing the words of the Lord that can guarantee that we will enter the kingdom of God. But what? After hearing, what did you do? What is expected of you? Put it into action. So our Christian life is a practical life. It's not a theoretical. Listening, sitting down, at the end of the Mass, go in peace, the Mass is ended. The Church has empowered you to go and proclaim, to go and leave it out, to go and be an example and a means of conversion to those who are not yet fully converted. And then, the praise of wisdom, someone who is wise, and then the chastisement of who? The foolish one. And then the wise one is the one who heard this word of God, put it into practice, is like one who builds on a word, solid uh, rock. When wind comes, when flood comes, when everything comes, the house is standing, Gidiba. No shaking. Then the foolishness of the foolish, one who hears the word of God and never put it into practice, is like one who builds upon a sound. Little wind, little hammer time comes and wash it away. Little flood comes and wash it away. It's just reminding us, we are builders. When you want to build a house, what do you put into consideration? For your house to last, what must you do? Your foundation must be strong. Your foundation must be solid. If you are to use nine inches block to build the foundation of your house, and then you decided to use three inches block or six inches block, 
Do you think that the house will last? Probably it might not last. Or you want to build, you go, went as far as blocking the road, the space for the flood to pass. When the flood comes, what will happen? The foundation will be challenged. And when the house is not strong, the house will collapse. And the foundation of this, our Christian life, is defined as the rock. And this rock is nothing but who? Christ. Have you built your Christian life on Christ, the rock? We sing here, I am standing on the rock that never fails. Jesus is the rock that never fails. Are you standing on this rock? Because the wind of life, the challenges of life, the flood of life will come. Is your Christian faith strong to withstand all these challenges of life? Sickness, poverty, financial problem, problem of childlessness, problem of lack of job, problem of not being valued among your people, ocho. Name it. Ebo obu ni tinyara kan subu. Manandi ozo tinyaka obri hyoma. Name them. We are facing so many challenges in life. But with Christ, with God on our side, we shall do bravely. That is why at the end of every pilgrimage week, the International Sanctuary will always give us the first prayer. And that first prayer has been, be a good, uh, a good person building your faith on the solid rock and living it out practically when you get home. You have come to Elele. You have heard what was said in Elele. Go home and put it into practice by being a good Christian, by being a good mother, by being a good father, by being a good young man, a good young woman. And then round yourself with the virtues that comes from God that will help you live a good life. But when we fail to do so, then the challenges of life will run us over. Then we suffer the pains, the loneliness, the disappointment in life. But with God, everything is possible. And God has been and is still practical with us, through of us. With the gift of the international sanctuary, God has become so practical with us. And this practicality is not far-fetched from us. He has shown his kindness. He has bestowed favors upon favors or miracles upon miracles on, on, on our brothers and sisters, on our friends, on any member or some members of our family that we are alive today and that we are participating in this month pre-made week activity. Is it not a thing of joy? Is, is it by your might that you are here? It's by the grace, by the receive this word of God. When we allow this word of God to flourish in our hearts, then it will help us to grow. It will help us to develop spiritually and materially. And it will help us to withstand the challenges in life. Are you, the challenges in your life, and you are thinking that they are more than God. No. No problem is greater than Jesus the Savior. No problem that is greater than the mighty Jesus 
spreading his hands so wide open, welcoming you as you come in. Welcome, my sons. Welcome, my daughters. What problem do you have? I am waiting for you. Do you believe that he will do it? When you believe, may it be your portion when you will be going back so that the message of good news will accompany you. Happiness, joy will accompany you. And then you will say, it is over. The Lord has taken care of my problem. Every problem is a simple matter in the hands of God. My problem is a simple matter in the hands of God. Is a simple matter in the hands of God. My problem, problem is, is a simple matter in the hands of God. God. The other is truly your blood. When we drink this blood, we become a part of you. Almighty Father, we have come bringing you gifts. Heavenly Father, receive a sacrifice. Almighty Father, Almighty Father, we have come. that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Let us pray. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make. Gathered from among your gifts to us, and may what you grant us to celebrate devout, devoutly here below, gain for us the prize of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Amen. with your spirits. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give time to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and the dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as with that end we acclaim. Holy, holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. Now is the most important moment in our Eucharistic celebration. Jesus the Savior is coming down on this altar now. It is a time for everybody to kneel down, present his or her problems in his sacred hands. Mm -hmm. 
One woman, you say, what caring about? Mm -hmm. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. Giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Camillus, our Bishop, Patrick, his auxiliary, Emmanuel, our founder, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all who pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, our most just spouse, blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry you to be coherent and eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him. O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching with there to say, Our Father, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, that we be done on earth, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep us safe eternal life. Amen. May the blood of Christ keep us safe eternal life. Amen. Prayer before Holy Communion. Prayer for help. O oh God, help me to make a good communion. Mary, Mary my dearest, dearest mother, mother, pray to Jesus, Jesus for me. My, my dear angel, angel guardian, lead me to the, the altar of God, an act of contrition. O oh oh my God, because, because you are so good, I am very sorry that, that I have sinned against, against you. And, and by the help Lord, of your grace, I will not sin, sin again. again. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever, ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Now it's time for reception of Holy Communion. Or we remind ourselves that the celebration of the Holy Mass is for the good of all, but the reception of the Holy Communion is only for Catholic communicants who prepare themselves in the traditional way of the church. Those who are not Catholics and Catholics who do not prepare for the reception should not take part. Glory be to Jesus. Glory be to Jesus. I am God's number one in the house of the Lord. I have come to partake in the banquet of the Lord. I am God's number one in the house of the Lord. I have come to partake in the banquet of the Lord. I am God's number one in the house of the Lord. I'm going to partake in the banquet of the Lord. 
I'm God's number one in the house of the Lord. I have come to partake in the banquet of the Lord. And all thanksgiving be every moment time. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment time. Jesus, I love you, all I have is thine. Yours I am, and yours I want to be. Do with me whatever you will. Jesus, I love you, all I have is thine. Yes, I am, and yes, I want to be. Do with me whatever you will. Jesus, I love you. All I have is thine. Yes, I am, and yes, I want to be. Do with me whatever you will. Prayer to Our Lady of Helen, O Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady of Helen, we humbly beseech you to step in. Be with us as you promised on the 7th September 1996 when you appeared in the International Sanctuary LL. Carry each and every one of us as you carried your son, Jesus the Savior, who also was carrying with his right hand the monstrance of LL Eucharistic procession, strengthen our faith. Do not abandon us. May we live the life that is pleasing to you and our divine Savior. And may your Son, Jesus the Savior, grant us good health, long life, and success in our proper undertakings. Amen. Jesus the Savior. Have mercy on us and grant us success. Jesus the Savior. Have mercy on us and grant us success. O Mary, Mother of Jesus the Savior, pray for us. Let us live justly and devoutly in this age as we await the blessed hope and the coming of the glory of our great God. Let us pray. Stand up everybody. May these mysteries, O oh Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray. For even now, as we walk amid, amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. O Lord God, listen favorably to our prayers, and with your right hand, bless these sacramentals and souvenirs of the International Sanctuary of Jesus the Savior and Mother Mary Elele that your people would like you to bless for them. Send your holy angels so that all who make use of these sacramentals and souvenirs may be delivered and guarded from every danger. And as we granted faith and grace by your deacon Philip to the man from Ethiopia who was sitting in his chariot and reading the Holy Scripture, show the way of salvation to your servants so that held by your grace and always intent on doing good works, we may after all the trials of our pilgrimage and life on earth Attain everlasting joys in heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your spirit. spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. In the national sanctuary of Jesus the Savior and Mother Mary Alele. God came to us. We are rejoicing and giving thanks to God. 